what is up guys welcome back for this look we're gonna start off with a clean moisturized face and then go in with our Too Faced Hangover RX primer spread it all around the face making sure that it absorbs before we move on I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation and I'm going to show you a trick to cover up large pores so the most important tool you'll need is a flat top foundation brush we're going to apply the foundation to the face and begin blending it out, going back and forth between pressing it into the skin and buffing it in in circular motions. We want to focus on the areas with large pores and in using this technique you'll watch the pores disappear. Again we are pressing and buffing the product into the skin and working it into the pores to create a smooth canvas. And don't worry about clogging your pores and causing breakouts, as long as your foundation hasn't caused breakouts before and you clean your face, you'll be fine. If you guys want to see how I finish my face, go ahead and check the description box where I've given you a link to that video below. And we're going to do our brows before we move on to the eyeshadow. If you guys want to see my tutorial on how to make your brows look bomb, I've also given you a link to that video below too. So before we apply any eyeshadows, we always want to go in with an eyeshadow base or primer so that the colors show up better and your look will last longer. Using your ring finger, you want to apply a nice even layer along your top and bottom lids and after we're done with that, we're going to grab a beauty sponge and blend everything out so it's nice and smooth. I'm also blending out any creasing that may have happened in my concealer and I'm going to keep looking up. I know I look a little crazy right now, but I'm going to stay that way until I apply my powder to prevent any further creasing. And then we'll take the powder over the eyelids to set the primer and then all over the face to set everything else. And if you want your powder to do some extra work in covering areas with large pores, I suggest pressing it into the skin. This song is so lit. I love it. Today we're going to be using our Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, first going into the shade Dusty Rose with a flat shader brush and applying that into the crease. And with this shade we're going to keep the shape nice and round, focusing the brush on the outer part of the eyelid and blending it into the crease as you can see me doing right here. And you know that with any shade that you lay down, we're going to go in with a clean blending brush and make sure everything is seamless. And I felt like I needed a little bit more of a transition into the Dusty Rose, so I dipped that blending brush into Orange Soda very lightly. And I'm just taking it at the edge of Dusty Rose and blending that together so I have a nice transition. And now with a denser flat brush, we're going to take the shade Cypress Umber, making sure that there's not too much product on the brush, and apply this to the outer third of the eyelid, being careful to maintain that round shape that we created. And we're also going to apply this on the inner third of the eyelid, making sure that you don't go up into the crease or down into the inner corner. Take off all the excess product that may be on the brush and then we're going to blend the two sides together over the top as you can see here. And we're going to keep the center of the eyelid completely blank. And you know the drill, grab your blending brush again and blend all of those edges together very gently. And this is what we should have so far. Now we're going to work on the bottom lash line a little bit. We're going to take a pencil brush into Dusty Rose again and start blending that all the way along the lower lash line. And with most looks, you want to use the same shades you used on the top on the bottom as well, making sure that you blend the outer corners up into the top so you have no gaps. And we'll take that dark brown shade again, just taking this on the outer third of the eyelid and blending it all together. Now without using any more eyeshadow, I'm using this pencil brush to connect the inner third and outer third of the top lid just a little bit better. And we'll give it another once over with our blending brush. And I just wanted to show you guys something that I got. This is a tool cleaner sponge box and basically what it does is takes off any product on your brushes in between shades so you don't have to actually wash the brush. And for the shimmery part of this look, I grabbed my Jaclyn Hill palette and went into the shade Obsessed, 
and I sprayed my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and this will help the shade show up a lot more vibrant and shimmery on my lid. Now we're going to concentrate most of this color on the center part of the lid that we left blank and after you've deposited most of the color here, we're going to move slightly upward towards the crease. Now I wanted the center to look just a little bit brighter so I dipped my ring finger into the shade in light and applied that right over top of Obsessed. This definitely did the trick and made the center of the lid stand out just like I wanted it to. And now we're going to gently blend all of those edges together so we don't have any harsh lines but don't do too much blending because we don't want it to turn out muddy. And lastly, going back in with the Soft Glam palette, I'm going to grab the shade Tempura and highlight the inner corner of my eyes. And that is it for the eyeshadow guys. Off camera, I applied a thin line of liner on my top lid and some lashes, and now we're going to move on to our bronzer. And as always, we're going to start at the top of the ear and work our way towards the corner of the mouth, but stopping about halfway. And we're going to press this into the skin and onto the apples of the cheeks. Cheeks. <laughs> Cheeks. And then we're going to take it to the corner of the forehead and blend that out. Now, I don't know about you, but I am always tripping up over my words. It's like my brain is moving faster than my mouth and I can't keep up. But hey, it's funny and it gives me something to laugh at, right? You've got to be able to laugh at yourself. Now I'm going to take the Balm's Mary Luminizer Highlight and apply that to my cheekbones and up towards my temple. And then I'm going to take it onto the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and slightly above my brows where the light would naturally hit. And last but not least, I'm going to use my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Hutch for that beautiful dark lip to finish off this look. And that is it my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you love the look, I hope you learned something, and I hope you recreate it yourself. And as always, thank you so much for watching, subscribe, like, comment, and share my video as much as you want, and until next time, see you later, bye.